Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm gonna give you my review of the HTC Titan 2. The HTC Titan 2 is the sequel to the Titan 1 that came out earlier, the, just not just a few months ago for our at t It's a Windows Phone 7 device here with a large 4.7 inch display here. Very similar specs to the Titan 1. You have the front facing camera and your touch sensitive buttons and buttons in your, in your ports normally where you would find them here on the sides, here at the top here with your 3.5 mm headphone jacks located and such. But here in the back is where they've changed things. They've added a 16 megapixels. Well, if you can see it there, maybe to focus on the writing, not sure, but a 16 megapixel camera, rear facing camera on here with dual LED flash and 720p HD video capture. And so we're definitely gonna put that camera to the test. They've added a couple of cool modes to it. It makes the camera really nice on here. It does have uh, right here at the bottom, this is where you can remove your SIM card and, and such because it does have an integrated uh, battery so you can't move the battery on here. But you don't necessarily want to just take this off right here while the phone is on because it'll automatically turn the phone off. Some reason it just kind of automatically does it there. So if you're in the middle of a call or you're in the middle of something on here and you accidentally take this off, the whole phone's gonna die. It's not gonna power back on until you have this piece back on here. So you wanna make sure you don't do that in when you re unless you really need to, need, to, need to access a SIM card there. Comes with 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. There isn't any ability to add storage to it. Unfortunately, it does have uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, any 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, processor on here, single core processor on here, which is a limitation of the Windows phone, but it does keep the um, experience smooth and snappy, as you'll see here when we go through the OS. It is the LTE phone, it's the second LTE phone available for uh, for uh, the Windows phone uh, platform, it's for AT&T, and um, like I said, it's running Windows phone 7, 7.5 mango, so same performance that you normally would see with Windows Phone. Really don't see a lot of lag. The extra um, 500 megahertz, because beforehand it was just one gigahertz is all you needed to really run Windows Phone. The extra 500 is really noticed when you're going through applications and stuff like that, that you really notice that jump. But the just the standard stuff that you go through here with the um, actual operating system, you don't see uh, too much lag in it. You don't see too much difference from a one gigahertz Windows Phone to this one here. But it's definitely nice to have that little bit of faster processing. But um, as far as software is concerned, it's similar software to what you see with every Windows phone on here. You have the pre-install software from AT&T and, and um, my AT&T, YP Mobile, things like that. You have some HTC apps such as Photo Enhancer and uh, HTC Location, which you actually have to download these. But um, HTC Locations is a free navigation for HTC phones. So if you don't want to, if you want to use that for free, and not have these AT&T Navigator, you can uninstall that. AT&T Radio, you can uninstall that too. That's a nice thing. You can uninstall the preloaded software by just uh, holding it down, hitting Uninstall. You say you want to do it. It removes it right there for you. And you can go back into the, the market if you want to grab that application again if you want to. All right, here we're looking at the 16 megapixel camera here on the uh, HTC Titan 2, taking a picture of its brother over there on AT&T for Windows phones, the Lumia 900. Now, for the most part, this is the standard Windows application that you normally see here, but the cool thing here is that they have added some extra features here. You can see they had, have added intelligent auto on here, which is what you see this little icon here. So it tries to guess you know, if I make it to get the best shot, which is a really nice feature. Yeah, I haven't seen that in other Windows phones available yet. And also you do have panoramic shot and burst shot, which is pretty cool. Burst shot just lets you take a bunch of shots. All at once takes up to five, so you have to press the camera button. And it goes like that. And you can get a cool action shot if you want to. Saving the photo there and you can kind of go back and look through them if you want to here. Just like that. And it's a separate application, so when you hit back, it kind of goes kind of saves it, goes out, and comes back into the camera application here. Same thing with the uh, panoramic shot here, which is pretty cool. And we got some really cool panoramas on here. You have nice, nice little uh, dial here to kind of guide you around. So basically what you do is let's say you want to take a panoramic shot of a nice like city-wide, a city, cityscape here, a nice little, uh, you have like a nice picture that you want to take outside of the city or something. All you need to do is uh, set this up, aim the camera and just uh, press the camera button to start it, take the one picture and then it kind of goes through each dot and you link the dot to the circle each time, make sure everything's lined up with it. And then once it's lined up, it'll process the photo and create that image for you, which is pretty cool. And um, we found that the uh, those, those those images, the panel images came out really good. And also with just regular images as well came out really good. As long as you're in like the most perfect lighting, if you're in nice perfect lighting like some of the pictures that we took of the flowers and stuff like that, 
those, those, those images came out awesome. The best I've ever seen on a Windows phone looked just great. And some low light settings, it, it performed better than most Windows phone cameras. Not perfect but it did perform just a little bit better in, in those regards and uh, most other shots you're gonna get a pretty pretty good pictures out of there now as far as video is concerned video um, the video image quality is good limited to 720p it's good the audio on it is absolutely terrible it's, I, I'm not sure what HTC has going on here some of their phones have good audio with the video some of the phones have bad audio with their video this is one of the cases where the audio on the video is downright terrible just terrible <laughs> But overall, I definitely do like the camera on here. The 16 megapixel camera does come in handy. It's not the best camera in the market, but as far as Windows phones are concerned, it's definitely one of the top cameras available for the platform. All right, now with this having such a large screen, you would think you'd have a different size resolution, but you are stuck to the current resolution that's on here. You can't get any 720p resolution or anything like that. It would be nice for them to sort of uh, copy something from their own desktop environment, being able to choose a different resolution, you know, 720p, you may want one point, you may want 800 by 480, or you may want even a higher resolution, but just to have the option to kind of switch between them dynamically would be really nice, especially on a 4.7 inch display here. Because when, when you start seeing certain things, like when you're watching video and stuff like that, you really start to notice the pixelation in certain things. We'll actually uh, head over and check, actually check out a video. I'll actually go over here. Well, we'll check out here the main website at bw1.com here. This is uh, the Titan 2 unboxing posting as you can see here. You can see how, it, it, you know, while the page is, it, it's filled up here on the screen, but because of the resolution, you can't get the full page sort of right there. You still have to scroll down to look at things. You still have to zoom in somewhat to see and look at the text. And the text can be a little bit uh, blocky at times when you really start to zoom in, but not, not too bad that it's not it's like unreadable or anything like that. In an Explorer browser, it doesn't support Flash, but you can play Flash videos and such like that. It'll open up in the built-in player within a Windows phone, which will open this up here. Hopefully we can tap this open here. We'll test out a video. All right, and this is a 720p video, the unboxing of the HTC Titan 2. We'll actually turn down the audio here a little bit. And you can see here, like this is a 720p, but you can see the pixelation, and it's just not as sharp as you would really like it to be, especially with such a large screen, especially other platforms that have uh, have the resolutions at different uh, sizes where you can really take advantage of the screen size. Fortunately, you just don't see that. But the speaker is nice and loud. I'll bring that up here. I also have the side of here, it's like a standard HTC. So we have the standard uh, HTC wall adapter here. The speaker is definitely really nice on here as well if you're going to use it in any type of speakerphone conversation and stuff like that. However, there's some interesting things when you start playing music on here. So um, we'll scroll down here, go to settings. We'll show you the sound enhancer, which is an application from HTC. Now you can do use this to adjust uh, the sound on video, you know, SRS enhancements. If you want to add enhance the sound, you have your headphones plugged in. You can use an equalizer. You can use uh, HTC 5.1 for video for uh, virtual surround sound. But what I found here is as I'm playing music through the, through the music and video application, I have SRS enhancement on. Some songs will actually kind of skip the first second because it kind of has to activate this on here to get to get it to start working. Now. Now on HTC Trophy that I have that I use as my daily driver phone, I don't I don't experience that on here, but for some reason on here it does that. So it so might be some type of bug or something like that. So you just want to be aware of that, and you might want to do no effects until they fix it, or just leave it on there for now if it doesn't bother you that much. But that's just something to know when you're listening to music here or any type of video. Certain songs, certain certain media will just kind of skip a second because it seems like it has to activate this up. All right, here. Well, not, another thing we'll test out here is obviously the LTE because this is a LTE Windows phone, the second LTE Windows phone available and on AT&T. Go ahead and begin the test here. We do get some pretty decent speeds on here. We'll do a quick test. You might hear some uh, static uh, in, in the audio here. That's just from the radio inside of here. So just in case you hear that, that's what that's what that's from. And we, in our current test here that we did on video, we have a download speed of 7.13, upload speed of 1.5. 9 megabits, a little bit slower than what we saw in the past with the Lumia um, 900. You can see some of the history here. We had uh, at one point we had five, we had five down and 1.96 up. We had 5.5 uh, megabits down and 0.71. Then we had at one point 
we had 6.12 down and 3.53 up. So it's uh, definitely kind of bounced around. We haven't seen it at 10, 11, 15, or even those 30 megabits some cities are getting. So, but I did see, I saw those speeds uh, like 15 to 20, 15, I'd say, I would say about 15 to 18 on the Lumia 900. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to see these speeds on here, but we did have some issues kind of getting LT kind of provision on here as we were doing the review. But so it's working up now and you'll be able to take advantage of it, not only for download speeds when you're using it on the phone, but also if you go into settings here, go back to the settings, you do have internet sharing activated just with the flip of the uh, switch right there. The built-in internet sharing uh, feature within the Windows Phone environment is utilized here. And you can you know, share up the Wi-Fi on here, use it as a hotspot, up to five different devices can use it on here. So that's pretty cool. When you connect it to it, connect it fine, stays connected and you get those nice fast speeds on it. Usually faster than what you find in most hotel Wi-Fi and things like that. So it definitely does come in handy. So there isn't much else to say here with HTC Titan 2. It's a sequel with a few upgrades here, but some nice upgrades uh, nonetheless. Um, it's definitely a nice phone. Um, it, uh, if you're definitely looking for a good camera phone and you want the Windows Phone platform, this is one of the best cameras that you can get for. So that's definitely a thumbs up here. You want the large display because you want to make sure you see things very well on display. That's definitely a, a good, a good, um, good advantage to have here with the Titan 2. Um, overall, definitely give the phone a thumbs up. It performed well. The audio quality is really good. The battery life is very good on it. If you're a standard user and you're using a couple email accounts, LT, all that type of stuff on there, listening to music, you'll be able to get through a full day. I would say about 12 hours or so of battery life with moderate use. If you start using a little bit on the heavy side of things, using GPS, things like that, you're probably looking at a little bit more to eight hours of battery life. So you probably have to charge this one time through the day. But if you're just an average user and you, you want using all the typical smartphone features that a smartphone user would use, you could probably get about 12 hours. So basically what you're going to be able to do is um, um, charge the phone overnight, uh, uh, take it from the charger, go through about your day. When you're about to go to bed, just plug it back in and you're going to be pretty much all set uh, all set as far as uh, battery life there is concerned. But overall, I found the Titan 2 to be a very good performer. Like clear, clear audio coming from both ends of the call when we were on placing a phone call. LT connection is nice when we had it available, which we have it now, so it's been solid since then. Um, overall, definitely a good Windows phone available. Is it really something you should, if you have the Titan 1, should you be really mad that the Titan 2 is out? Not so much. I, I really wouldn't jump to jump to that conclusion. You pretty much, the only thing you're missing out really in this case is the camera on here. But other than that, it's it's definitely, um, a, 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 you're definitely good with the Titan 1. And the Titan 2, if you don't have the Titan yet, this is definitely a good phone to consider. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also, uh, check us out on all other social networks as well, too. They're all in the description as well. Check out our full rewritten review. The link to that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.